748 time for Sunday brunch. She's the author of the new cookbook Simply Julia 110 easy recipes for healthy comfort food. Julia Toshin joins us this morning from New York to share a recipe from the book. Good morning. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Tanya. It's so nice to see you. You too. I love your podcast title, Keep Calm and Cook On. <laughs> That's right. I mean, when Thank times you. when you know like you need to, 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 to let off some steam or to just kind of bring it down a level, cook a dish. That sounds good to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel in the kitchen. It's where I feel the most calm, and it's definitely what I want to give to yes. everyone who picks up the book, just that sense of calm. All right, yeah. so we understand this recipe that you're making this morning. Every kid will love it. Yes, every kid will love it, and every parent will love it because it's a recipe you can make without chopping anything, okay. which I think is pretty wonderful. So it's a great sort of weeknight thing. It's made with pantry ingredients, super affordable. So there are salmon fish cakes made with some ricotta and crushed potato chips. So the recipe starts with a small bag of potato chips, and you take a rolling pin, you could take a wine bottle, whatever you want, and you just crush them. Okay, well, there's, there the, there, there's some frustration let out right there. Exactly. <laughs> so great for any adult who wants to get that out. Great for any kid who's interested in cooking and wants to kind of hit something and it's allowed. Also, there's no mess. It just stays in the bag. Right, and so, so you then, recommend sour cream and onion potato chips, right? I totally do because they just have so much flavor. You know, I'm just looking for flavor at every turn. The other thing that's great about them is it's allows this recipe to be totally gluten-free if that's important to you. You know, there's no breadcrumbs, it's, it's potatoes. So you take that crushed potato chip and then I open two cans of salmon. Canned salmon is a wonderful ingredient, just like canned tuna, you know, totally like wonderful, great quality fish. It lasts in your pantry. You don't have to worry mm. about it. It's cheaper, more, you know, more affordable. So you put the crushed potato chips in with the salmon and then I mean, not make all the noise in the world. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Is, we don't mind. We're noisy, is, Julia. Don't worry about that. <laughs> this is a cup of whole milk ricotta cheese. And what this does is adds just like a ton of moisture. Mm. I love using ricotta. It oh, also Old allows Bay? you to get away I without using it. eggs. Yes, Old, Old Bay is Bay. great. <laughs> It's so wonderful because it's like all my favorite spices in mm -hmm. one container and yeah. they mix it up for you. You don't have to worry. So I'm putting a tablespoon of Old Bay, mm -hmm. sprinkle that in. And then the other flavor, the big flavor is lemon zest. So this is a microplane grater, which is um, just like a really sharp little grater. It's a great tool. I use it for Parmesan, for chocolate, all sorts of stuff. But you can use whatever grater you have or you can peel it and finely chop it. So I'm just going to grate the zest. And there's so much flavor in the zest. So I put that in and then hold on to your zested lemon because you can cut it up later and squeeze it on top. So you just mix this mixture up. And in the interest of time, I already mixed up a few. And all you do is you form them into little patties, almost like you're making hamburgers. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see a couple here, you know, just cute little salmon yeah. fish cakes. You can also make these ahead, put them in the fridge, put a little plastic on top, and then you can just brown them later. And the great thing is they're totally cooked. The salmon is already cooked. All you want to do is get like a little nice sort of brown crust on them. So I'm going to turn on my skillet. This is a nonstick skillet, which is just great because they don't stick. And mm -hmm. also it's easy to clean up. And, you know, this book is all about healthy comfort food. Yeah. Mm. And one of the things to me that's really important in that is that it be easy, you know, mm -hmm. which includes not doing so many dishes and having those dishes not be difficult. So I'm just gonna melt a little butter in the skillet. And basically once it's melted, I'll put those patties in and brown them. All right. mm -hmm. And I'll do that once it's melted, but I'm just gonna tell you the next step too, so you know what's coming up because it's not that many steps. So after you brown them, you just set them aside on a plate and then this is a bag of, well, it's not a bag, it's a bowl, but it was a bag of frozen peas. All right. I love frozen vegetables, frozen fruit. All the cleaning and chopping is done for you. You know, the shelling of the peas. They also taste wonderful. You know, they're frozen when they're ripe. So frozen peas are just so sweet and delicious. And after I brown these, this butter's almost melted, I'll put them aside and then I'll just put the peas right in the same skillet again wash one skillet not two <laughs> and i'll put a little bit of half and half in with the peas mm. i use that because it's what i always have in my fridge because it's what i put in my coffee yeah. <laughs> so it just creates a nice little sauce that'll pick up any little brown bits at the bottom of the pan uh 
Oh, Julia's frozen. Just like the peas were. Oh, man. I really well, wanted we to see the, the final it. project. Yeah, well, they, they look delicious. You know they what do. they remind me of? Salmon hmm. and croquettes. My girlfriends, my girlfriends, my girls love salmon and croquettes. Are you back? Oh, we're back. Are you Julia? back, Julia? Are you, I'm, oh, you're back. I, I, heard, I heard you say I'm frozen like the peas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great thing. <laughs> yeah. I was so excited about it. I just froze. All right, let's so, finish this yeah. up, Julia. As long as we have you back. So you just, Yep, you brown them, you put them on top of the peas. It looks like this, it's beautiful. It's a one skillet meal, a one bowl meal. It's fresh and healthy and delicious and it can be made really quickly. And, and packed with I think protein. It would, exactly, and I think it would go so well with your cookies, Sean. What do you think? Oh, well, we can try them out. If you want to just like throw one through the uh, Zoom right now. I wish I could. I wish I could. <laughs> one day we'll get there. Julia, that's for sure. I'm sure your cookbook is full of wonderful recipes and ideas like this. Thanks for sharing this one with us this morning. Thanks, Julia. Yeah, thank you so much. It was great to see you. You too. Be well. Once again, the book is called Simply Julia, 110 Easy Recipes for Healthy Comfort Food.